learning new skills helps to keep your brain young. And in fact, learning any type of new skill can be beneficial because it activates the part of your brain that's geared for learning. And it does it just as much in your adult life as it did during your school days. And it doesn't really matter what you learn as long as you learn something new. And you're never too old to learn something new. Specifically, though, there are a few things which have been proven to help boost brain capacity as you get older. And the first one is learning a new language. And this form of brain training is a constant way of keeping your mind active and engaged. And it has other benefits as well. After all, if you learn to, say, speak Spanish, you might then want to go and visit Spain or Mexico or countries in South America where you can actually practice this language. So it gives you something else to look forward to, something else to think about in addition to just simply learning the new language. And according to a study published in 2007, Having the ability to speak a second language may delay the onset of Alzheimer's disease by up to four and a half years, which is pretty good. Now, research is still being done to find out specifically why it causes such a great delay, but it's been suggested that it's a result of being able to switch between languages and being able to suppress one language while speaking another. And this is according to research done by retireathome.com. Now, something else that you can learn uh, as you get older, and in fact, throughout your life, are computer games. Now, some people think computer games are a waste of time. It's something that teenagers do when they should be outside playing in the sunshine or studying or doing something else. But they are wrong. In a study published by the Journal of Neuroscience, College students who played Super Mario 3D World for two weeks improved their memory recall by about 12%, which I'm sure you'll agree is quite significant. And it doesn't just apply to young people, you know, it can apply to older people as well. And playing video games by the elderly has been shown to ward off symptoms of dementia and to help boost memory. And again, just like learning a new language, it's because you had to learn the moves, you had to learn the rules, you had to learn how to do different things within the video game, and it helps your hand-eye coordination, and it does all sorts of good things. In fact, this website here, Brain Metrics, that's metrix.com forward slash memory hyphen game, actually has some very good games on their website that you can play for free. And in particular, this memory game, which is uh, something which you can do to help exercise your memory, do things like remember faces or things that you've heard, etc. And it has a lot of interesting information about it right here on the site. And also, they have some other brain training games that you can access on the site as well, things like Eight Queens or Arrange Games brain fitness, brain reflection, etc. And they are very, very good, and it's well worth a visit. And uh, it's all free online. And something else that you can learn how to do is how to cook new recipes. And learning to cook new recipes can be beneficial in several ways. First of all, you need to learn how to do it. And just like I was saying earlier on in the video, this activates the same learning mechanisms in your brain that you used to use when you were at school. But also, it introduces you to new foodstuffs, which are things that might be healthier than what you're already eating. And of course, when you learn how to cook a different recipe, often it's a good excuse for having friends and family around for dinner. And of course, social interaction helps to boost your memory. So it has a lot of beneficial things. You know, it's win, win, win all along. And so every time you can learn a new skill, that schoolboy or schoolgirl 
deep inside you comes back to the fore and you get to think yourself much younger than you did before.